Second Lesson Whatever different seats and couches have been told, whatever have been used by the great hero, these resting places are thus detailed one. 1. He sometimes lodged in workshops, assembling places, wells, or shops, sometimes in manufactories or under a shed of straw. 2. He sometimes lodged in travelers' halls, garden houses, or towns, sometimes on a burying ground, in relinquished houses, or at the foot of a tree. 3. In these places was the wise Shramana for thirteen long years, he meditated day and night, exerting himself, undisturbed, strenuously. 4. The Venerable One, exerting himself, did not seek. Page 83. Sleep for the sake of pleasure, he waked up himself, and slept only a little, free from desires. 5. Waking up again, the Venerable One lay down, exerting himself, going outside for once in a night, he walked about for an hour. 6. In his resting places he sustained fearful and manifold calamities, crawling or flying animals attack him. 7. Bad people, the guard of the village, or lance-bearers attack him, or there were domestic temptations, single women or men. 8. Fearful and manifold, calamities, of this and the next world, pleasant and unpleasant smells, and manifold sounds. 9. Always well controlled, he bore the different sorts of feelings, overcoming carelessness and pleasure, the Brahmana wandered about, speaking, but little. 10. In the resting places there once, in a night, the single wanderers asked him, who he was, and why he was there, as he did not answer, they treated him badly, but he persevered in his meditations, free from resentment. 11. Sometimes to avoid greater troubles, when asked, who is there within, he answered, it is I, a mendicant. But this is the best law, silently to meditate, even if badly treated. 12. When a cold wind blows, in which some feel pain, then some houseless monks in the cold rain seek a place sheltered from the wind. 13. Some heretical monks say, we shall put on more clothes, kindling wood or, well, covered, we shall be able, to bear, the very painful influence of the cold. 14. But the Venerable One desired nothing of the kind. Page 84. Strong in control, he suffered, despising all shelter. Going outside once of a night, the Venerable One was able to endure all hardships in calmness. 15. This is the rule which has often been followed by the wise Brahmana, the Venerable One, who is free from attachment, thus proceed, the monks. Thus I say. 16. Footnotes. 82, colon 1 Slaka remarks, This verse has not been explained by the author of the old Taika. Why? either because it offers no difficulty, or because it was wanting. Yet it is found in the misas of the text alone. We do not exactly know the reason. Which old taika is meant by slaka, we cannot tell with certainty. It scarcely can be the kerni, for in the Bombay MS of it the text of the verse in question is giver, but no explanation beyond the words, esa pukka, this is, given as an answer to, a question.